Artificial intelligence is one of the biggest money-making opportunities for 2023. They're gonna be a massive wave of new businesses and opportunities for you to generate more money, more income, no matter what it is you're doing, whether you are building a software or if you want to take advantage and use this artificial intelligence software in order to perform services at a whole new level. So in this video, I'm gonna cover some different ways you will be able to generate money using artificial intelligence, no matter what your skill level is. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So how are you going to take advantage of this early business opportunity to generate a higher income and even build your own business? So the first thing you have to understand when it comes to using this technology is where it actually came from. So one of the biggest companies, which is a nonprofit company, is called OpenAI, and they're the ones that kind of revolutionized this whole idea of artificial intelligence and applying it into the real world. The first time I ever heard of it is when this company or this nonprofit was able to use their software to develop artificial intelligence to play this game called Dota 2. In the beginning, the bots were not very good at the game, but after a while, after like a year or two, they were able to beat the top teams and have a 99% win rate against any real player. So that's kind of where I personally heard of it. But recently, over the past couple of weeks, one of the applications to OpenAI is called ChatGPT. It's artificial intelligence that is able to write, whether it's a sales page, chatting with someone, an email, very closely to how a human being would actually write. So I've seen examples where people are using ChatGPT to write Twitter threads, right? So instead of a human, they're actually getting a robot, the artificial intelligence to write tweets as well. And this actually opens up a whole different type of opportunity where if you're able to use the software, you don't have to sit down for hours and hours trying to become a better writer. You just need to know how to use the technology in order to have the technology right for you. And the best thing about this AI software is that it's getting better and better. So how it basically works is that the researchers, the people who are in charge of the software, they're feeding it information every single day, like lots of information that a human being cannot consume. But because it's artificial intelligence, it can take basically almost an infinite amount of information, right? Every single day, it's getting better and better and better because it's producing more results. And then with more results, it's more positive feedback. And then it's going to be able to be used in the real world. So let's go ahead and give you some real life applications of how you can use artificial intelligence in order to generate higher income, save time, generate more sales, right? Now, the first thing we're going to look at is a software called copy.ai, which actually uses chat GPT on the back end, right? So if you're a software developer, you can basically create these softwares that pull from chat GPT, for example, and then you're going to be able to basically just build a front end, meaning you just build a nice, pretty front end website that people can use. It's more usable for specific use cases. And then on the back end, you're actually leveraging on another person's technology, right? So how the software works is once you create an account, you know, you're going to see different options to use this software to write your copy. For example, if you want to write blogs, you can do that. If you wanted to do a website, like a sales landing page or about us, it will do that for you. Or if you want to do, let's say an email, it will do that for you. Let's go ahead and do a live example. And let's say I'm selling Google advertising services to e-commerce beauty clients, right? So I actually did this ahead of time, uh, just the same time for this video. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the example. So the first one is, hi, Sally. My name is Patrick, the CEO of Max Media. I'm reaching out because I believe we can help your company with a new ad campaign that will increase sales and improve your bottom line. All right. So X number. So seven campaigns of other e-commerce beauty companies like yours in the past, and we were able to increase your revenue by, let's say, a thousand percent. So out of the box, this is pretty decent. I would definitely change how I do the intro and not focus on myself, but I understand that I put in the prompts of Patrick, the CEO of Max Media, whatever. But everything else actually is pretty good. Go to the next one. Hi, Sally. I'm Patrick, CEO of Max Media. Again, I would probably switch it out. But again, you, you know, when you use these softwares, you have to put in the human touch. You can't just expect it to write everything for you, right? But it gets a general idea. So I've been following your company's growth on Facebook and was really impressed by your products and the way you're using Instagram to drive traffic. Pretty personal. It seems like you have a lot of potential working with us, but one thing is standing in your way. You don't have ads on Google ads yet. Pretty good. If you want to learn more about what we can do to help you get on Google ads, I'd love to schedule a quick call with me to talk through how we might make that happen. I would probably adjust the, the ending a little bit to make it more natural sounding, but this one's pretty good because it drives a pain point about they're growing on Facebook, they're growing Instagram, but what about Google ads, right? So I guess if you put in prompts or if your list included all the small e-commerce companies on Facebook who don't use Google ads, that would definitely be an interesting campaign. So using those two examples, some things I would improve is probably the human touch when it comes to the intro. The body of the meat is pretty good, but the intro, I feel like it's a little too like, hi, I'm Patrick Gang. It should be, I think, hey, Sally, how you doing? Or something like that. I would try to make it more natural, more cleaner when it comes to, hey, you know, let me know what your calendar looks like or feel free to let me know what works for you. But the meat of it, of going into the pain of, hey, you know, like, 
you're using Facebook ads and Instagram, but you're not on Google yet, right? That definitely is strong. And I could like copy and paste that, put it in. One real quick thing, you could also adjust the tone when it comes to using copy AI. So it could be friendly, luxury, relaxed. You can also say, write this like how Elon Musk would speak as well. So, you know, you definitely can use other people's tone of language and input it into your copy. It's not perfect quite yet, but after some massaging, definitely it's something that can work, especially if you have already have the eye when it comes to cold emails. And I'm sure if you add in different prompts, put in different scenarios for different ideal customer profiles, this will definitely give you an edge when it comes to producing emails faster. And again, you can't just like copy and paste these. You have to adjust it right now to make it more human and increase the response rate. But I can see in the future, maybe like one, two, three years from now, the software should definitely improve quite a lot. So in this scenario, you know, we're basically taking cold outreach and we're reaching out to somebody, right? But what about using this software, you know, chat GBT and things like that in order to deliver on a service, right? So let's say you already sell something, but let's say you want to fulfill on that service much faster. For example, let's say you have an agency to write the sales copy for other products. So you code email them, say, hey, I do this. Do you want to work with me? They say yes. Okay, so now let's write you sales copy for your website. So now we're going to give you another example where I'm going to pretend I'm doing a sales landing page for a NFT tool, a target audience, NFT traders, features, tracking whale wallet. So the big wallets with a lot of money, notify the hottest mints. So new projects coming out, send you buy signals before your competitors. Benefits are extremely fast, beautiful UX, UI, deep insights. So let's go ahead and run this. And it says, okay, is NFT trading too complicated for you? If so, we got the perfect solution. So the product name is a revolutionary tour to help you track whale wallets, get notified of hottest mints and send you buy signals before your competitors. Using this product, you can track each and every whale wallet in the world, as well as receive notifications on when new mints become available. Using our premium service, we'll also send you buy signals before anyone else does. Okay, it's not bad. I would definitely have to tailor it a little bit to make it more not so spammy. There's no need to worry about whether or not your trade are going to be profitable. All you have to do is set up an account with us and we'll provide deep insights into how whales are performing at any given moment. And because we're constantly monitoring these whales, we'll be able to give you our clients extremely fast access to data updates. It's like having extra team of experts working for your behalf. Okay, it's not bad. I would definitely take out the parts where it's like, you know, you're going to be profitable because I think you can't really say that, you know, with American laws, but there definitely is something there where it definitely helps you write something out. I think if you adjust these things, tone it down, add a more of a human element, I can definitely see this working on a sales page for like a software, for example. So in conclusion, when I look at the practicality of this, the results aren't bad when it comes to cold email and sales copy. It's okay. Will there need to be a human element and a trial and error before you get something usable generated completely by the AI? Absolutely. But if you think about it, once you get used to the inputs and you get generate something interesting, all you have to do is tailor it a little bit to make sure it's something that will actually work in the real world, right? So right now it's not as if artificial intelligence is doing all the work for you. It's doing a lot of the heavy lifting for you and you have to massage it a little bit to make it something more applicable. I also believe in the future, once this artificial intelligence becomes significantly better and it has better results, I feel like the jobs that are gonna be created are not gonna be necessarily the people who have to like sit down and write copy. It would be like people have to get really good at putting in inputs into an AI to get something beautiful and something that actually will work, right? So the job in the future is will be more curators, people that can put in the right keywords, put in the right descriptions to feed the AI data in order for it to create something that is actually useful. In the future, a lot of jobs jobs kind of will be replaced because you don't really need the high level copywriting for every situation. You know, the mom and pop local shop, they don't need the top 1% copywriters. They just need something that's going to work in their local area. And that's where I feel like AI is going to really come in. Will a lot of jobs be displaced because of this? Yeah, a lot of the manual labor, right? Because we're only looking at writing examples because this is a sales and marketing channel, but this can also be used for art, whether it's 2D or 3D, it could be used for writing songs, creating music, pretty much any use case of like creativity and generating something, right? It can definitely displace people, especially if you're in the mid tier or low tier, it will definitely replace you out. So I would recommend that you play with this thing, learn how to use it, learn how the inputs work, because, you know, very soon in the future, this is going to be how a majority of the content is created to make sure that you don't get left out. Definitely learn how to use it, but also know how to provide your own human element to it to create something that an AI cannot generate quite yet. For example, personal experiences, because only you have those, right? And so with that said, if you want to check it out, check out Copy AI. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's just one of the better softwares with a better user interface that I have used. If you want to see more videos about how we might be able to use artificial intelligence to help improve our sales, to help improve our marketing, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to make that for you because this is going to be a whole new wave, a whole new generation of creators out here. Let me know if that's something you are interested in. And I will see you in the next one.